So Bamboo Lab P1S has a new larger orifice or extruder. It's the 1.75 huge extruder. Going in close. Actually, it looks like looks like it pushed the hot end out. I'm not sure what happened. Uh, this happened on both of my P1Ss after I updated it. I don't know if it has anything to do with the update. Seems like a strange coincidence that it would push 1.75 out, or that it would just push the extruder the hot end out. Getting there really close. Not sure for the focus. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take it apart, see what happened. So I got the hot end off the whole assembly. Looks like a, I don't know if it, looks like it may have gotten pretty hot. Um, on the fan assembly also, or the front cover assembly. Strange. Um, Got the filament. Looks like looks like the I'll have to take that cover off. Looks like everything's still intact, other than this being pushed off. And you can see the tube. So I can put it on. The tube right here physically broke and it just pushed this off it's like this stopped heating but strange as it happened to both uh, P1S's last night I'll have to get with bamboo got an extra hot end I believe I'll uh, should be able to get that in I don't see anything else wrong clean everything up really good Hopefully nothing serious. Doesn't look like anything. Something odd to walk into. The filament being extruded out at full, full diameter. Something I like about bamboo is the availability of replacement parts. I think others do it also. 90% of the fasteners are the same Allen screw. Allen head size, which is awesome when you go to change it out. So what I'm gonna try to do is do the replacement head, hopefully components that tie into this are still good and be able to salvage without having to do a full hot head or full assembly replacement so we got the hat end apart i did have to apply a little bit of heat to it all the parts look like they're in still good condition wires have the little ends on them this looks like it's still good condition a uh, little grease hole in the side and then this it's neatly on top of there. I feel it actually once the, I think we'll be back in business in a short period of time. I'll put the collar back on, put the fan on. So the assembly is back together. And the uh, silicone cover had a bit of a rough go. So we'll be putting a new one on there. So while I had it apart, I took the opportunity to grease the uh, three clean and grease the screws as well as the two carbon rods. I do a lot of ABS printing, so it's fired up. I did a home, came up to temperature. Looks like it should be ready to print. I'll uh, get a program going to it, hook up the AMS, and see how it goes. And here's the second one from last night. You can see it just was spitting out the filament at full size take that off yeah it just broke the end off very strange let me know if anyone else has experienced this and if they know the root cause i'll contact bamboo they're usually although not really quick and get back with you all the time but they always uh they always do, they do always get back with you and usually help you out actually not usually always help you out with uh, 
root cause analysis. They're uh, really good once they get to it. All right, I'll dig into this one, get it fixed. Hopefully I have the parts. Both of them are back up and running. As it turns out, it was a situation where in both cases, the print did not adhere to the bed. When it came loose, it knocked the hot end off. What's strange is it was two different programs, two different parts, two different machines, both the same nut, but low cost. They're both up and running again. Again, great machines, really like them.